Hello. Oh, we're so tiny. Oh, she. Hi folks, Dane here and today we're visiting Manchester. This is actually the travel lodge we stayed at in Warrington and that cat was a random, possibly stray cat that lived near to the travel lodge and liked to pop its little face into reception, especially when it was raining like it was when we were there. This is Manchester's Arndale Centre. So we visited Manchester the day after we visited Liverpool and I'll link below to our video of that. When we visited Manchester, we had less of a well-defined plan, really. We had a few different landmarks we wanted to take in, but we also wanted to just have a little wander around the city as well. This here is Chetham's Library. From what I understand, it's like a former school library that now is kind of like a specialist music library as well. And we could go in, but we didn't because it looked very imposing and we felt out of place. Of course, it being around Christmas at the time that we went, there were a lot of Christmas markets on as well. So we had a nice little wander through those. So Manchester was a lot bigger than either of us were expecting, even though I know I've been there before, but I've been there at night and it seemed a lot smaller, possibly because I was drunk. This is Manchester Central Library and as you can see there they have a few bits and bobs about a uh, Harry Potter display. So I was like I have to film this because I know the people of YouTube will enjoy it. That's Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory made out of Lego. Now I didn't enjoy Manchester Library as much as I enjoyed Liverpool Central Library but it was still a very cool library. Big old place as well, lots of local history. It even had a bit that we'll see a little later in this video where they had a lot of old um, medical books and all that kind of stuff. They also have these little interactive exhibits and little rooms where you can watch films and that kind of stuff. These are all the medical books and it's like all the British Medical Society's journals just stretching back to about 1840 or something. And those were just the ones we could see as well. So I mean this place is pretty cool, it's got some nice art and all that kind of stuff to look at as well. And it's just opposite this as well which is the war memorial outside. It's kind of sad to see it in the rain to be honest. but. Um, yeah, we still had a great time in the city. Manchester, of course, has trams as well, which makes it in the minority for British cities. Something that we don't have down in London or in Birmingham. So this point was really when we started just to wander around and to see various, you know, little sites. So you're pretty much walking down streets at random. We did plan to go to the uh, police museum, but it turns out that's only actually open on uh, Tuesdays. We were there on a Monday, so we couldn't go in. Of course, the Manchester Bee emblem is everywhere. It's a proud city, Manchester, but fair play to it. It's a nice place. It was uh, definitely worth visiting. Lots of cool little bookshops. We saw a lot of uh, game shops as well and uh, places that sold, you know, trading cards and all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it for our visit to Manchester. I, I actually picked up a bunch of books that appear in my book haul, but other than that, we didn't see a huge amount. We mainly stayed in the town centre, walking around the charity shops and stuff. Thanks a lot for watching and for coming along with me. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit subscribe, like, etc. And I'll see you sometime soon for another video.